Good morning children. Now you know how sound is produced. A sound is produced by a vibrating body. Let us understand now how sound reaches us. While playing on the playground, when you call your friend who is standing at a distance, your friend is able to hear your voice. How does the sound travel to him? Actually, sound needs a medium to travel and air is one such medium. When the air has been completely removed from a place, it is said that a vacuum is created. Can sound travel through vacuum? Let us find it out. Let us suspend an electric bell inside an airtight glass bell jar and connect it to a vacuum pump. Now switch it on. As the electric bell circuit is completed, the loud sound of bell is heard repeatedly. We can also see the hammer striking the gong repeatedly. Now let us slowly remove the air from the bell jar using the vacuum pump. The intensity of sound is decreasing. The sound is so feeble now. Oh, now no sound is heard. Is the electric bell working properly? Yes, it is. We see the hammer striking the gong repeatedly. What has happened? All the air is drawn out of the jar using a vacuum pump. So what does it prove? This clearly proves that sound requires a medium for its propagation. So now we know that sound cannot travel through vacuum. If you remember, on moon there is no atmosphere or air. Also, no sound can be heard on the moon even if you yell at the top of your voice and the another person stands just next to you. This again proves that sound cannot travel through vacuum. Can sound travel in any other medium besides air? Let us find it out. You can easily hear the bell ringing outside the water. Can we hear it in water? Take a bucket, fill it with clean water. Shake the bell inside the water to produce sound. Make sure that the bell does not touch the body of the bucket or the tub. Can you hear now? Maybe not. So, place your ear gently on the water surface. Can you hear the sound of the bell? Yes, you can. This indicates that sound can travel through the liquids. Now you know how whales and dolphins can communicate with each other under water. Even we humans when we are swimming under water. Can sound travel through solids? Let us find out this also. Place your ear at the end of a long wooden table. Ask your friend to gently scratch the other end of the table. Can you hear the scratching sound made at the other end of the table? Yes, you can. So, we find out that sound can travel through even solids like the wood. Can you say that the sound can travel through the thin strings? Let us see this also. You must have surely made a toy phone using paper cups or match boxes and strings. Haven't you? Can you say that the sound can travel through strings? Let us see the children playing this game. Hello, this is Agent Y. Who are you? Over. I am Agent X. What is the mission? Over. We need to find the hidden treasure in the desert. Over. Yes, let's go. Over and out. That was interesting, wasn't it? This children's game does indicate that the sound can travel even through a string. In fact, sound can travel through any solid. Also, sound travels faster in solids than in air. But do you know how sound travels from one place to another? 
when we throw a stone in water then waves are produced in water which spread to a larger area similarly sound also vibrates in waves and spreads everywhere these waves begin at the object which is producing the sound and travel in all the directions suppose you tap a table and sound is heard what is happening actually when vibration is started by some mechanical event say such as tapping of a table this causes a vibration on the molecules next to the mechanical event that is where your hand hits the table while tapping when these molecules vibrate they cause the molecules around them to vibrate too the vibration will spread from molecule to molecule causing the sound to travel the vibrations are carried forward from one point to the next until it reaches our ear and we are able to hear to sum up what we learned today the vibrating objects produce sound and it is carried in all directions in a medium the sound cannot travel through vacuum but the sound can travel through air liquids and even solids the rest we shall understand in the next class bye bye kids